All right, ready for the uh, Soviet reinforcement phase. And I got a little bit of a, eh, say a conundrum. We'll see here. Uh, it tells you all about the reinforcements and how to bring them on, but it says say that uh, the court in this section is not conducted when using the optional rule. 3.5.2 is used. An extra rule we're using because it says it's more realistic. It says historically the Soviets have been aware of the existence of the Operation Unthinkable Plan by Guy Burgess. And Zhukov ordered Soviet forces in Poland to full defensive positions in June 1945 in anticipation of the British U.S. attack. Well, it's July now, so the month before he got things ready. The Soviet unit places all our units on any supplied East Map edge during the Soviet reinforcement phase, which is now at game turn one. These units may move and conduct combat on game turn one. Do not use the procedure, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to put these guys on. They're going to move and conduct combat per the rules. Reinforcement time for the Soviets. All right. Old Churchill about to get thrown out of his, his government, about to get thrown out. When they find out that all these units are coming on, Zukov knew it was coming. Nightmare begins. Operation Nightmare. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, these guys are coming on. Here's a traffic jam of units that are coming on this turn. These units can move and have combat. If they stay on the autobahn, they can move 24 hexes. Got to stay on the autobahn, no. Half a movement point. Regular movement's 12. So, going on 24, we're going to start moving these guys in. Be back. All right, now we're just using these autobahn bonuses. So, every unit can get all the way up here. But, real quick, but, you know, I've got to find out what's going on here. Look under river hack sides. And it says, uh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, movement, non movement, Mac. Uh, only one moving from blah, 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 blah. Autobahns do not negate river crossing cost. So, if that's the case, we gotta do this a lot differently. This would be one, one. This would be two. It's only a half a point, but then he needs two to get over here. So that's one, one, two, three, four. And we can do it that way. But anyway, that's as further as they can get. That is a godsend for the uh, allied player. <laughs> uh, we'll continue the movement. But uh, yeah, now, like I said, he's doubled on the road, but still has to make. Uh, two movement points across. Now, non-mechanized infantry only pay one extra. So, uh, we'll see what goes on with that. We'll be back. Alright, they had to come back one. This is kind of complicated. I want to show anybody that plays this game how it goes. Half a movement point on the autobahn. They got 12 total. This will be one half. One. One and a half. Two and a half. Three and a half. Then a half to go here. That's four. Four and a half. Five. Five and a half. Six. Seven, eight and a half. Nine. Nine and a half. Ten. Ten and a half. Eleven. Eleven and a half. Twelve. So that's how you do it. That is how you do it. When you cross those rivers, you have to have two, but that, then you still have to pay the cost to get in here. Which is a half, so we came back one. We'll be doing that to all these units, and this will be the, the four. Alright, uh, got something different here now. This is artillery, but like I said earlier, that I noticed, you got mechanized artillery with the two dots down here, and you got non mechanized. So this is non mechanized, and they move slower on the autobahns. Let me see the autobahns. Alright, half a movement for everybody. So the, the effect will take place of this, but when you're crossing a river, river hack side, uh, only cost plus one for non-mechanized. So it's easier for the ones that aren't mechanized across rivers, I guess. So we'll be going one. And they also, non-mechanized only have a 
eight movement factors. So we'll go one half, one, one and a half, two and a half, because it costs just one plus one, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, six, six and a half, seven, eight, eight. So that's where our artillery unit will be. All right, just want to make that little note. And get the goofy ass. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? That ain't mine, mine are gray. That's from the Burmese mountain dog. Hair everywhere, that's another story. All right, we will be back. They're coming on through, but they won't be able to make it to the front line. Thank God, but wait till you see all the units when they've been deployed. Oh, might as well maybe capitulate now. <laughs> we'll see. All right, we're getting a little bit of a traffic jam going on here, but you can see these units are next in line. Are these motorized or non-motorized? I think they're motorized, but let's look at the chart. Oh, it's a rifle. I think it's a fifth guards. Uh, SU must mean Soviet Union reserves. It is a core, I guess, is what theirs are. There's armies we see here. Don't have stacking limits on us yet. Okay. We know there's two of them, perhaps, but they are the uh, motorized infantry. They are mechanized. Okay. They get the big movement. Back. All right. Another note to be made. And I, I, I realized it. And I don't know if we really did it, but I can see here that I'm, I'm using it. That is that these artillery units count as two and a half. Uh, oh, for Soviets, they count for two and a half cores. So they can only be by themselves. So I do see that I was smart enough to incorporate that. But you guys need to remind me. <laughs> remind me to keep these because I was just getting ready to put a unit on top of them. But there is a stacking limit. Clogged up on the road. Coming from Poland. Another note I wanted to make note of. I remember that I mentioned it earlier. Was to bring in the German units down here. I don't think they can cross. I think that's the UK Army Group, so they gotta stay north of the line. Hoo <laughs> hoo! That complicate things. I think the old US offensive might have to be uh, abandoned. You know, holding action. Uh, we'll see how, how it all develops, but like I said, best plans of uh, mice and men get thrown out of the window to first turn of the battle. So anyway, they're coming on in. You can just imagine. Uh, we only got a few more million units left, but it's mostly going to be an autobahn traffic jam. Note to me made also this unit here, trying to avoid a traffic jam. But when he comes up here, he cannot cross that all river hex side. So he can come down here and then come on over. But he was able to, with his 12 hex movement range, and a heck got an autobahn bonus, and get up to at least there, but that'll be the extent of it. Uh, more non-mechanized infantry coming on in. Uh, another note, I want to give you a little ins insight here. I don't know how many units it's going to take. We got a natural little chain link fence like I was talking about to keep these supplies coming on through here. We can get some more of these units along this road. Here will be our holding little funnel action. I got more than 20 units. 20 units are going to cross would be these stacks here, this stack, this stack. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six of these units. So here's my 20 units right here. You get across this and I punch this hole out. These guys here, and like I said, I still got a lot more units of traffic jam. I'll probably come back to here. They're still filtering down here, make themselves a little uh, flank supply road protection chain. I mean, that, basically, that's all you got to do, too, is to have yourself a road with the units on. Unbroken zones of control going back, so we'll see how we establish the supply line. But uh, yeah, we'll use these roads as town. I think the old wooden allies are so well. We'll see how it goes, it's part of the fun. And uh, it's kind of a like I said, a, a, a uh, uh, how do you explain it? You know, you know, the parameters and the designers made the you know game as close to what they could of a military situation, so it's kind of like. A historic of what if and uh, if you play it right you get a good uh, a picture of well at least what I would have done my you know generalization my military strategies but put them into effect and that's what I kind of like doing is you know solving the puzzle 
and I'm not really curious as I don't really care who puts side wins just as long as you play them both and it's more interesting and it's what happens is the outcome I'm really curious as the outcome all right so we're gonna be going on here and another thing is with my videos if you want to watch them that's why doing them in only 15 20 minute increments are nice you can sit there and watch the whole thing and maybe watch a turn or two and then come back and say, oh, I wonder what happened. So anyway, we're going with some more deployment. All right, then the complete after. You can see the uh, some of these units trying to avoid a traffic jam, get off the road. But uh, non-mechanized units only have a moving factor of 8. And these guys have a moving factor of 12, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is the difference. Uh, we got them coming up the autobahn, but also we could have brought them down uh, this road here. Uh, yeah, and that way they get a little bit closer. If not, they would have been bogged all the way back to the original map. So using another autobahn road helps. We got a couple more of them off the main road in the four-wheel drive territory, but it's not mechanized. So that will be it. There will be no attacks. This is the reinforcements on the way. But too bad we ain't got no aircraft to get straight up those highways. Oof. All right, we'll see what goes on. It is now the, uh, check out the Allied Recycling Bays. All right, then, here we are with the Autobahn Clog. The old traffic jam of World War III. <laughs> Another thing I want to make a note of is this line here. The beginning of the, uh, Ally turn, I can switch. That's why I got these coins on. I can go from this spot here. I can switch it at my next turn and go this one here in case I need to move some units around. And, uh, or I can go from here up to this one, which is, I don't know why you do that. <laughs> U.S. got enough troubles as it is. If anything, we might switch from here to here. But, uh, that actually increases their zone responsibility so this will be the best one I think for the Americans that are hard pressed use all these units come on down we'll see what's up it might be a game of cutting off all these boys supply but we will see coming up a recycling phase all right then recycling and uh, the Soviet player doesn't recycle he gives you why uh, no Soviet units ever recycle because put plainly well, the Anglo allies were experiencing manpower shortages by the time, by this time, the Soviets were simply out of replacements. Yeah, you can imagine that. All right, we have a recycling procedure. It tells you pick one unit, uh, eligible unit. Like I said, the only ones that can't be recycled are uh, units that were eliminated while out of supply. So we have to put that in a different pile if they're eliminated while out of supply. Allied First Airborne Army it can't be uh, recycled and neither can the Polish. So he qualifies. Alright, for each unit, roll 1d6 and modify the result. We'll add a 1 if it was blown to the UK, which it don't, so it won't be. This die roll won't be modified. You got a 6. Ooh, that's not good, I don't think. Uh, uh, modify above and recycle the unit. The result of the die roll is the number of game turns the unit spends recycling, so. He will be, so that means next turn we might get units that come on sooner. But let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. He don't come on till that turn. Nice little, nice little mechanic. Uh, hats off to the designers. I like that. All right. Then it says here, re-entering allied units. So, give me seven hour later, place the unit inside, it will not return. Oh, Ooh, hold on. If the result is such that the unit will return on game turn 7 or later. Place the unit inside it will not return a game. Oh, that kills. He is done with. We right, let that have us a little a little trash pile. We'll have these underneath here. These will just be eliminated units. Can't do it with these. We got one more that we can try. It says, uh, pick one eligible unit at a time that is a really slow <laughs> reinforcement rate wow all right well at least i got steps and the soviets don't that is it we're calling this a video because we will be starting the next one with the allied oh movement combat phase no more infantry 
or rather, no more airborne. We're going with the movement phase. Oh, that's just it. We have to pick. You know, as we'll do the movement and combat. This will be a video. All right, a little caveat here on that recycling that I kind of caught when I was watching it. It says pick one eligible unit at a time, which means you don't use them both. You don't get both to you. So we get to do this one again on all my eligible units. I was remember I told you that I thought that was really slow. It was. So we will roll for him on the uh, table here. Ooh. Well, I don't like using that dice, but we'll do it. we'll take that result <laughs> for one. So that will mean on game turn two, he's eligible. Alright, so that's how you do that. I'm sorry, I messed that up. I thought to myself, man, that's really slow. But yeah, one eligible unit at a time. And the thing of it is, you almost need to be a lawyer to interpret what these people are saying. <laughs> what it should have said is, uh, out of your pool of eliminated units, pick one unit at a time uh, until your pool's empty, I guess. It's, you have the op option of using it until your pool's empty. The seer me should think that you can only do one unit per turn. Pick one eligible unit at a time per turn? Yes, I don't think so. I think we could bring them all in, so he won't come in. I think when it does come time for bringing your units in, uh, recycle the ally player must place all of the unit immediately. Okay, so that will be its next turn. Oh, you know what? It's next turn. Wow, we get those guys back right away. Cool. That helps out a little bit. Now we'll call the video. We'll be moving on to the allied movement phase. All this catching stuff. Be back. All right, this will be our third attempt at calling it a video. <laughs> one more caveat. One more caveat. We'll use the zoom feature. When this unit does come on, he can only come on on his reduced side. Damn, I'm good. There you go, designers. I'm trying my best. We'll be back. 